So picture this. Typical Tuesday night, Nigel and I, were on the couch downstairs enjoying our usual glass of Chardonnay and a couple of peanut butter and horseradish calzones, and we're watching some dog training videos on YouTube because that's how we like to relax. We don't have a dog yet, but if we ever do decide to adopt, we've mutually decided that it would be good to have some skin in the game beforehand, so we watch these dog training videos to unwind and prep ourselves. Go to kennel. Sit. Oh, Heel. You're doing great, Luna. Oh. Heel. Keep it up. Precious. So we're watching Luna bounce to and fro from these tires, happy as a clam, having the time of our lives, and then one or two clicks later, all of a sudden... Now what, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna use a small camera. This is gonna be shocking, so I'm, I'm gonna show you the hand right now. Okay? And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. We're uncovering some of the government's deepest, darkest secrets that have been hiding in plain sight this whole time in the form of Peter Kane's dog training YouTube channel. <laughs> and we'll get into it a little more, but after, I'm just going to roll this quick three-year-old intro that should have been updated two and a half years ago. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new Emma Chamberlain tweet. My name is Leon Lush, and thank you so much for joining me today. It really means the world. Now, you may be used to me being overly sarcastic, but when I tell you that I probably just discovered my favorite new YouTuber, uh, I'm more serious than a heart transplant, okay? Peter Kane dog training uh, has quickly risen to the top of my list for a myriad of reasons. Now, upon first glance, you see dog training in the title of his YouTube channel, and then there's some dog training videos that come up immediately when you visit, and you're thinking, oh, that's cute, but probably uninteresting but if you scratch below the surface just a little bit, you realize that Peter Kane is a multifaceted diamond in the rough. Check it out, it's Sam the Raven. You know, he's a douchebag. <laughs> that, that just became my favorite intro uh, to any YouTube video ever. Check it out, it's Sam the Raven. You know, he's a douchebag. Check it out, it's Nigel the Monkey. You know, he's a douchebag. I think a lot of people don't understand what I'm saying when I'm when I say like a raven doesn't make a good pet. You have to understand, I do this for a living. I work with animals for a living. Love is not enough for the raven, it's the truth. They need a lot more than that and you can't just let them do whatever. So Pete not only trains dogs, he says he works with animals for a living and he has a pet raven. In my book, that instantly notches you up three levels of badass, right? He's probably sending messages to King's Landing with that thing. Maybe he's turning into a raven himself and flying around with it. I mean, there's no telling what kind of person you are if you own a raven, but you know you ain't frickin' around. I work with animals for a living. You know, I don't have a kid running around here. You know, do you have a child? Oh, me? Yeah, I, I have a child. Maybe a raven wouldn't be such a good idea. Oh, shit. Looks like I'm going back to the drawing board for my Mother's Day gift. Pet raven is off the table. Think about this. I'll give you an example of how a raven can be a pain in the ass. They're a bird, so they have to take a bath. So you have to leave like a big, like tub of water. I have to leave like a big giant tub out for him, right? So when he gets in it, water gets spilled everywhere. It's a freaking, freaking mess. It's a freaking, freaking mess. He doesn't give a shit. He's a fucking raven. You know? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Shit. Sam! 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 Sam, did you take a bath again and not clean up after this? Oh, there's f water everywhere, Sam! Jesus! How many times have I said when you take a bath, don't splash your shit all over the place, it gets all over the electronics! God damn it! The f raven! He doesn't give a shit. He's a flippin' raven. <laughs> it's the idea of having the pet raven that people like. It's, it's when you get it, You'll, you'll find out that it's a lot of animal and probably not appropriate for most people. God, that's so true for so many things in life, isn't it? When the idea is great and then you actually do it and reality starts to set in and you're like, yikes, can I get a mulligan on that decision? Did you have any clue how much work it would be to own this raven? I mean, we could just kill it. No, we can't, we can't kill it. That's just light it on fire. What? No, we can't. Live. What the fuck is wrong with you? Anyways, he's got a playlist of videos with his raven, um, and it's just totally underappreciated, I think. And this is the kind of content where the comment section is always just the cherry on top. I love how honest and angry you just came at me. I don't know how I got here. I've never considered getting a raven. 10 out of 10 would recommend this video to a friend. <laughs> that is actually exactly... 
my experience with this video as well. I don't think he realizes that he's the Raven's dumb pet human. He is in a toxic relationship with the Raven, which he can't escape from. You know? I just love how proud the Raven looks as he lists off all the terrible reasons to own a Raven. <laughs> I mean, historically, Ravens are a proud people. Now, these Raven videos are just the beginning. Pete the dog trainer has over 4,200 videos on his channel, and this next title is without a doubt my favorite. No human female would have my child, so I have a pigeon baby. <laughs> yeah, that one gets me going. That's solar. That's my pigeon baby. That's right. And the thing that I've noticed about solar is that she sort of looks like a quail. She does. She's got a head like a quail. I could listen to Pete talk about his pigeon babies for hours on end. This is the pigeon that was incubated by me holding the egg. See, he's not even clickbaiting when he says, I have a pigeon baby in the title. This man held this pigeon egg in the palm of his hands and incubated it until it was born. And in the pigeon Old Testament, that actually legally and spiritually makes you the rightful father. Oh, you thought Crazy Pigeon Lady from Home Alone 2 loved pigeons? No, 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 okay? Peter Kane dog trainer is incubating these pigeon eggs in his bare-assed hand when mom needs a breather because pigeon dad's not around. So Pete takes over. That's pigeon love. Throwing a little bird seed out at the park to look cool amongst your homeless friends. That's some surface level bullshit love. That's no different than telling a lady exactly what she wants to hear just because you want to get laid. What Peter Kane is doing, that is real love. That's some sort of putting your raincoat over a puddle so your lady can walk over it when the cameras aren't rolling kind of love. I help incubate the egg as much as Remy. Well, not, she, she sat on it much longer, but I helped, right Remy? Let me know. If you haven't nurtured a baby pigeon egg to full term hatch ready through the warmth of your bare palms, are you even an animal lover? <laughs> Doubt it. I couldn't find a, a, hu a human to have a baby with me, but I found a pigeon that wanted to sort of adopt a baby. Solar has beautiful plumage. It is interesting how her auricular feathers blend right into her hackle and her lores are dark and spill into her nape. Spectacular specimen. Oh, that is easily top five YouTube comments of all time. So the bird videos are great. I love how much Peter loves his pets and he's entertaining uh, when he's talking about them and talking to them, whether or not he's trying to be, I don't know. But as you dig a little bit deeper into his channel, things start to get a little weird. When my father shot the Bigfoot in 1953, they had to cut them up to get them out of the swamp. They were too big, so they started cutting them up. This is one of the body parts. It's a hand from a, a young Bigfoot. What? And I want to be perfectly clear. This is a science documentary. And if you have a squeamish stomach, you might want to turn the camera off right now. Okay, Pete. Thanks for the heads up. This is going to be shocking. So I'm, I'm going to show you the hand right now. Okay. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Please turn off this video if you're squeamish. Oh hell no, okay. I'm not squeamish. Let's see it. So this is this is a hand of a of a young juvenile Bigfoot. It's been frozen. I took it out of the freezer. You can see the hand clearly. Okay, hold up, no cap, real talk on my life. Shake my head. Did Peter Kane, the dog trainer, just whip out a whole ass Bigfoot hand and present it to us like it's no big deal? Notice the the fingernails. I don't know if you can tell, but they're translucent like a human's. See the skin? Okay, two things right off the bat. Uh, number one, what the fuck? Number two, whoever made that thing did it. That thing looks nice. Looks good. It's well done. Or it, he, this Peter Kane has an actual severed Bigfoot hand just in his freezer because his father apparently killed one in 1953 and now he has all the body parts just sitting in a freezer in his home. <laughs> I love this shit. It's totally real. I'm president of the Bigfoot community because I wouldn't lie to you. This is real. These are real. And I, I, I do think that they are alien in origin. Hold on. President of the Bigfoot community? Why would you not lead with that, Pete? Here I am on the fence wondering if you done lost your marbles. Come to find out you're a president of the Bigfoot community. So you are... So you de so you've definitely lost your marbles. <laughs> or you're just an epic troll. In which case, I love it's it. magnetic. And soars its, its feet. But... In, in general, the whole body is magnetic, but nothing like the hands and feet are, are very magnetic. Here, here's a, here's a knife. This is just a, a knife I used to cut up chicken. Huh. 
How is this possible? Well, I could think of a few explanations off the top of my head that involve magnets, but if we're going to stick with the story that this is real, uh, because Bigfoot's hands and feet have magnetic properties, and how else could a kitchen knife be hanging from his hand like that, then we'll, we'll just we'll go with that. That sounds good. Watch this. It's not done with glue or Velcro. How do you explain this? You can't. I can't explain it. That's incredible. <laughs> so I'm obsessed with this video, Bigfoot Hand Unveiled Mysterious Properties Documentary. It obviously is one of his few videos that got recommended. It has a quarter of a million views. And Peter Kane, in my opinion, is a low-key comedic genius. Or schizophrenic. Or a healthy blend of the two. But I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure he's just he's just trolling for fun he's not messing around either he's got multiple videos on this i think he probably saw how well that video performed six months ago and then like a couple weeks later uploaded another video further proving why the bigfoot hand is real there's a fly on it there's there's flies on it if if it wasn't real there would not there would be no flies on it there's a fly on it see that's a fly Fly. As if the Magneto Bigfoot hand argument wasn't compelling enough, he's now uh, pointing out how flies are attracted to it. You see the fly? There's flies on it because it's meat. It has to be real. How could that be? And I'd say I'm, I'd say seal this one up. This is this is that's Bigfoot's hand. I'm convinced. It's totally real. Look at that. What are you? Is that a fake? Is that a fake bee too? think that's a fake bee? I'm telling you. Look at it. It's close up. Does it have magnetic-like qualities? Check. Is there a real B on it? Check. Yeah, that's that's a real Bigfoot hand. I think you are the coolest. It's incredible. You have me convinced. Huh, that's a reasonable that's a reasonable thought process. So Peter is all in on this troll, man. He's got videos of a severed Bigfoot foot. He's got a video, his most viewed video, I believe, of a, a severed Bigfoot head. You can tell the immense size of the creature by comparing it to my to my head. My father shot the Bigfoot in 1953. They had to cut it up to get it out of the swamp. I have all the body parts. And he's got videos for days, man. Don't be fooled by the YouTube channel named Peter Kane Dog Training. He's much more than a dog trainer. He is a underappreciated YouTube comedic genius. And the comments are fascinating. I mean, there are people that actually think it's real and are like, wow, this is incredible. I would love to talk more about it. And then there's people that really think that he's being serious about it which um, can be questionable up to a point, but I did find this old video of his that really sealed the deal for me knowing it was a troll. You get used to the taste or something, it tastes great. It really does. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, I feel so much better. Stuff is great. I'm 50 fucking three. Look at this, look at this. This was never like this before. Look at the muscle tone. What happened? I was never like this. I've never worked out. I got muscle tone. I'm ripped. He's got a video from 2017 where he eats frozen Sasquatch blood and it turns him superhuman. So that was that was all I needed to see to uh, really realize what he what he's doing here on YouTube. By the way, can I just say that Big Pete has some of the freshest merch in the game? Look at this thing: Wanted for Crimes, Watermelon Kid, and Jesus Sasquatch. <laughs> I have no idea what that even means or what it's from, but it's hilarious, and I'm I'm absolutely gonna buy one of these shirts. Coming into this video, I did not think I would be promoting Peter Kane Dog Trainers merch by the end of it but here we are and I'm, I'm buying one of his shirts myself anyways that's it guys thank you for watching i hope you got a, a little laugh out of it and uh this was uh, you know this wasn't a piss take this was more of uh, just an enjoyment of peter's craft he seems like a very interesting individual and uh nothing but love for him though so in addition to peter kane's dope merch okay i just dropped some new merch myself this week boom boom you can grab it at tomatomafia.com if you want you can also use code sniperwolf for 15% off, and if that doesn't make sense to you, it's a little inside joke, just watch my last video from PAX East. Um, those are available now. Obviously, buying merch helps me, helps support the channel. I appreciate that. If you could leave a comment down below, that would be wonderful. And the last thing before you go, if you could go ahead and find your own Bigfoot out in the wilderness somewhere, you kill that bitch, you cut him up, you bring him back to the crib, freeze him for a couple of days. Once he's all the way frozen solid, you just want to get rid of all the body parts except the hips, and you take those Bigfoot hips and a couple of bungee cords, and you tie those Bigfoot hips around your own hips and then you get up and you double hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me i appreciate it. i'll see you in the next video peace you, you, you.